And now our national anthem. And this is the Shannon vs. Avatar. And we went to the red, the Shannon vs. Avatar. And we're ready for the face-off. This uh, Avonworth in the red, the Shinnick in the white. And um, the Lancers on five-game winning streak and quite impressive. Um, we're going to um, do this the same way as I'm Jim on the announcer a little bit of everything and uh, so I will be in and out giving you the highlights, updates and everything of the game and uh, keeping you abreast of what's going on as I hope you enjoy hockey on NCPD 45 our sponsors, we'll have them on in a bit, and um, it'll be absolutely great. So, um, enjoy the game, and uh, know that I'll be blazing in and out, and uh, matter of fact, we'll even put up the score for you at the top.
Hope you're enjoying NCTV 45 programming. And uh, we'll talk with our, we do our sponsors in the second period. And uh, as I, I decided to wait and uh, kind of keep it fresh, we put on a lot of programming. And uh, we thank you for your kind hospitality and participation. It's always a pleasure to have you. Puck in, in the corner, controlled by the Rangers, and uh, shot blocked at the goal, and went chase to the left side. Wind up shot dropped in front of the doorstep and then tied up. I want to say a hats off to Rocky at Cowboy Pizza. Uh, excellent, excellent pizza. And, uh, he supplies me with lunch a lot of days. And, um, Face off to the right of the goal we left in our game. <coughs> shot, no good, bounces back, rebound. Shot again, stolen by Avonmore, who tosses it into the other side. And uh, that's going to do it for period one. Now, um, we're going to uh, set you to period two, and um, let's get to, there's no scoring in the first. Shots, three for Avonworth, nine for the Lancers. Now, uh, when you look at penalties, 1026, Braden Morgan interferes to the mind. Avonworth's Josh Perry slashing two minute mind. The Shannon's Santino Maltari slashing two minute minor. Avonworth's Josh Perry high sticking two minute minor. And then Avonworth's Jonah Lintazzi tripping. So uh, six minutes for Avonworth, four for the Lancers. <coughs> Both 0 oh, 4 on the power plays. So uh, we're going to face off with the second period. And uh, we hope you're enjoying the action right here on NCTV 45. Newcastle Lawrence County's community television station. And uh, make sure you tune in. Make sure you enjoy. We're available anytime on your time. We hope you're enjoying the action.
If you're craving hot dogs and more, and you're in the area, then look no farther than Kelly Island, downtown Newcastle on Kelly Square. Want to score big? Then get over to Shenango Auto Mall. George Fiaco, general sales manager, and his experienced staff will be glad to talk to you about all the amazing used car deals from their huge inventory. Lifetime powertrain warranties, extended warranties, and guaranteed credit approval. They have a body shop and full detail shop. It's not your normal used car loan. They also buy cars, trucks, and SUVs. Shenango Auto Mall is located at 2515 Elwood Road in Shenango Township. Call 724-698-7304. Hello, friends, and it's Los Amigos. And let me tell you what, great food. Whether you get the chimichangas, enchiladas, tacos, whatever you get, you're going to love them. The nice, friendly atmosphere. Stop by. Tell them NCTV 45 sent you. It's Los Amigos sponsoring this program. No goal as uh, the change comes off the boards. And as we are into the second period, let's give you a rundown on the penalties. 71, Quint Hilton tripping. Two minute line. Face off to our left, right of the goalie. Take a step back in time at Lombardo's Apothecary at 1230 South Moon Street will take you back in time. Take you back in time to make you feel better. They have cards, snacks, all kind of toiletries and health and beauty aids that will make you feel great. They also have prescriptions too. It's Lombardo's Apothecary. Call 724-654-8100. Peppers, mouth-watering fruit, fine dressings, apples, meats. This place looks so familiar. Everyone in Newcastle has to know about it. Yes, it reminds you of when you were growing up. Right in downtown Newcastle. Look at those fine lunch meats and apple foods. 
Yes, it's Joseph's. off and that controlled by the Lancers, at least temporarily. Here comes Avery. Why on the right side and back towards the middle. scoreless in the second period. So there's a 15 minute period there. I'm going to my That's fine. Yeah. And it's a long time discussion. I'm doing that. No, you're not. Let's check it out as sponsor. I'm doing that. No, you're not. 
Losing a loved one is difficult, and the grief it puts on your family can be troublesome. Ed and Don DiCarlo Funeral Home and Cremation Incorporated strive to make the hardest time for you and your family a comfortable one. They can accommodate for large gatherings to smaller private viewings and memorial services. They've been serving the area for over 50 years. Ed and Don DiCarlo Funeral Home and Crematory Incorporated. 941 South Mill Street, Newcastle, and 3000 Wilmington Road, Neshanic Township. Website, decarbofuneralhome.com or call 724-658-4711. in the second nine minutes on the clock. And um, time for Josh Cardella, Rafi, two minutes long. <coughs> John Latinza, Rafi, two minutes long. As Kelly uh, Box is loading up. wants you to indulge in the food from their pleasing menu. The Cedars features Mediterranean, pub food, Middle Eastern cuisine, and so much more. They're open every day, 11 a.m. to 10 p.m. Call the Cedars on the east side at 827 Addis Street, Newcastle, 724-658-9543. That's 724-658-9543. Yeah, yeah, she's touching her eye, not walking. <laughs> <laughs> I can't, I can't, I can't. 
second and uh, that was short handed
The crane room is a restaurant. The crane room is a bar. The crane room is a banquet facility. The restaurant repays you time after time with their diverse menu. Ask about the daily specials. See the menu at craneroom.com. The bar gives you an abundance of choices with 35 years on tap and always changing. Their banquet services are always to perfection. The Crane Room located at 3009 Wilmington Road in Ashanic Township. Call 724-656-1553. I'm Gary West, and whether you find Augustine's Pizza at your local grocery store, or the folks at Augustine's Pizza hope that their pizza is always your first choice for any and all occasions. Alley's Upper Crust at 1700 Highland Avenue has a full menu, pizza, roll-ups, salad, soup, Sandwiches, drumbolis, dinners, they are just great for dine-in or take-out. Don't forget to give them a call at 724-652-7553. It's Allie's Upper Crust. Cody, what's your report on uh, Kyle Stewart? On oh, these new reports, hold on. Don't worry about these new reports. I just want to know how many goals he has. Now with uh, the score tie at one, uh, 2.25 left in the period. Let's go over the second period stats as uh, this has turned out to be quite the contest. Face off controlled by the uh, interlopes. I would be Avonworth and shot blocked by the Lancers as um, we're winding down to the end of the third. Now in high school hockey, the first period and the second period are back to back. Third period, the Zamboni comes out face off, goes behind the cage and out the other side. Controlled by the Lancers, they take it into the corner and then it gets away from that and they'll have to reset. Up against the boards and tied up. And back around to the right wing. And drop pass back left wing out of the zone. Lancers reset, try to get up ice, this pass. Goes to Avenue. We're under two minutes. Back into the back. And 
swing and a miss and controlled by Avalon. Now Battle up against the boards and the Lancers come away with it as they dig it out. Pass, Aaron pass and the Lancers recover. And that was only, only momentary. Pass recovered by the Lancers and took it into the zone. We're under a minute and a half for a second. And um, tied up and we'll face off. To our left, to the right of the goal. <laughs> Face off and that control by the Lancers and the back into the court. Battle four up against and covered up by a Two twenty on the clock. <laughs> Quite a contest here. All the real kind of thing. That really takes it into the zone, takes it deep, and then behind the cage. Loses control out of the blue line shot and ricochets to the left side of the ice. Lancers get it, take it out of the hot kitchen and then tie it down. And that's it. We're heading to the third period. And with the score, the Shannick won, Avonworth won, and uh, we're in the third. Now let's go over, we'll do penalties first. First period, the Shanning, 73, Braden Morgan interference, two minute minor. Josh Perry for Avonworth, two minute minor, slashing. Then the Shanning, Santa Martar, slashing, two minute minor. Josh Perry, high sticking, two minute minor for Avonworth. And at that point, it was two penalties each four minutes. Then Avonworth, late in the period, Jonah Lentransi tripping two-minute minor. So not too bad. And then we went into the second period. Things got a little nuts. We start off right off the bat, Quinton Hilton tripping two-minute minor to Shannon. Then Josh Michaels headbutting, and that was a five minute major. Followed by being misconduct, Josh Michaels, and that was 10 minutes. So that was 15 minutes right there. Um, uh, and and it, to that point, okay, the, the penalties were even six minutes each. And um, then incurring that 15 minutes to Shannon, okay, then they got the Jacob Carvella roughing two minute minor. Avonworth's Jonah with Transy roughing two minute minor. And um, Avonworth's Golowski elbowing. He got a two minute minor for elbowing. Will Golowski. Yeah. I tripped over that last name. And Avonworth Sam, the Janik Santino Martar, two minute minor. Now, here's the key. We're even 
Uh, Nishanik's up 15 minutes in the penalty. We go even again, we go even again, and then Avalworth gets Justin Plucker for tripping, two minute minor, and game misconduct at 10 minute. So the penalties, I guess what I'm trying to say, the Shannon's up with three extra minutes, but pretty even to this point as uh, game officials really keep great track of what's going on. Now, um, scoring, no score in the first period. Second period, Avonworth's 54, Rick Ryan Kennedy power play from Jonah Latanza, and Nishanik 27, Hunter Harris shorthanded from Terrence Rice. Ties it up at one. Now, uh, when you look at shots on goal, Avonworth three in the first period, and Shannon nine. Second period, Avonworth fires it up, gets 13, giving them a total of 16 shots on goal. Nishanik only 12, 21 shots on goal for Nishanik. Nishanik still up five shots on goal. As for the power plays, uh, and we told you earlier, Avonworth won, and uh, Nishanik none. And uh, we'll be back with uh, that third period action, and uh, so much more. You're watching NCTV 45.
we'll be back with third period action right after the Zamboni completes his run.
Okay, and it's time for third period action here, hockey fans. And uh, can't say enough about this high school hockey. Thoroughly enjoy it. And uh, <coughs> always a pleasure bringing it to you as um, we get started in the third period. And here we go. Puck controlled right away by, and that, well, now there's a face-off to you, controlled by nobody. Wool face-off outside the blue line. And Puck comes towards us, Lancers grab. Pass left side and into the zone. Allen works zone. To be particular. And uh, back out again. Into the corner and fired back behind the net. We are in the third period. Just to give you some idea of where we're at. We're tied at one. Back behind the gray battle four. Knocked out front, knocked down. And <coughs> not getting in as uh, Lancer's defense stands tall. Tell you the ice looks good after his in That's winning the week of the year. Last year. And getting a lot of Puck out of the wings of zone and back in the hockey. Lancers in control, but couldn't hold it in. off to the left, right in the goal. Wrapped around back, controlled by Avery as they come down ice. Down the left side, and shot blocked by the machine. Pass. 
on <laughs> I held my breath right side and he centered it and he held in just at the blue line. Didn't know if he was going to be able to do that. Powell up in front of the goal where he comes loose. Back behind the goal and out the other side, controlled by Avalor, who fires it down. Puck goes back into the Avalor zone. Avalor smacks it out. And we'll be facing off as you get that two line pass. Managers keep it in and some more pressure down with. Off really kind of is the only question we have here. One, folks, can't get a better game than this. Face off will be right in front of us, just outside.
But I'm waiting for the call. What happened? Yeah, you got a little meeting in the circle. Face off. Face off. And it goes behind the cage. And uh, this one one win uh, became quite the contest in the third and uh, still tied at one. Puck flies outside the zone. from number 33, Gage Giordano. I checked that. That coming from number 73 at the eight minute mark, Brian Morgan, even strength from Golan Earl. The Lancers would get the 2-1 lead and uh, that's a key as a uh, very big for the Lancers. They needed to score. Lancers up 2 1. And there's 9 12 on the clock. Lancers getting control of the puck. Down. They get another score. That score coming from Raiden Morgan at even strength. Two scores. Hunter Harris, even strength. Santino Moltar and Michael Benson. 73, Braden Morgan, even strength from Nolan Earl. And uh, the Lancers now with a 3-1 lead. And uh, that key as uh, we're in the third period, the Lancers 3-1, and uh, I got the, the, the 73 and the 27 mixed up there on my, my scorecard, and uh, just so happened it was the next score. And uh, right out in front, Avonworth now down 3-1, and uh, it's um, it, it's a ball game. Uh, let's check. Um, we'll check some penalties and some shots as we get at towards the end of the period. Lancers with the puck and uh, they drop it into the zone covered up by the goal. Lancers 
Well, you just will get a line change, get some fresh legs out there. Those goals coming right back to back. Spectacular game here by both teams. Stolen by Avonworth as they take it the length of the ice. 7.6 on the clock. Shot. No good. Ricochets off to the side. Go, Matthew, go. Up out of the zone and up against the wall, and uh, now. will face off to the right of our camera angle and left of the holy. Fired back into the lanes for him. Round back and uh, up comes Avery. Cross mid ice and into the lanes for zone. 6.1 on the clock. I'm looking to see. I looked like he was trying to pull the trigger but couldn't. Face-off will be just outside the zone. Three-one Avonworth or three-one uh, Lancers with the six-sixteen on the clock, and we're getting down to the six minutes. goes left side in front of the doorstep and then pull back take him back into the rooms and zone 5.30 on the clock 5.30 now and we're under 5.30 as it goes down 3-1 Goes left side, back behind the net, and not able to pull the trigger. Two fifty on the clock, three one. The Hensler's got just under three minutes. Kill these next two fifty and. Let's get out of here, guys. I 
up against the boards and uh, Puck being battled for it. I don't know where it comes up with it. Into the Lancer zone shot. And uh, nothing doing at 209. Pays off to our right, answers goalie to left. And, uh, two minutes. And Andrew with a 3 1 lead in this uh, important game. And, uh, geez, oh man, just as soon as I said it. Well, that going with 15.01. Dom Ludovico, even strength from Will Glasgow. Avonworth scores. It's 3 2. We're in the third. And, uh, we're under two minutes. The Andrews need to get, get this puck and uh, cool it off and get the game and go home. Here comes Allen on the break. Knocked out by the Lancers. Punt goes around right side up against the boards. 45 seconds as we're under a minute and under 50 seconds, and that sounds good to me. going to be a win-win for Lawrence County as uh, Wilmington and uh, the Lancers both pulling out wins and uh, definitely take that. 33.6 seconds on the clock. Timeout call. With 33.6 seconds, I'm going to give you a rundown. Penalties in this period 33, Gage Jordana roughing two minute minor, and Avonworth Justin Bloki slashing two minute minor. Uh, this period, goals coming from Hunter Harris at even strength, Santino Maltar, and Michael Benson contributing. Braden Morgan right after that from Nolan Earl. And Avonworth's Don Ludvichko from William Glasgow. Now, uh, with the 31 seconds left, we'll um, slowly go over the course score 3-2. There was no scoring in the first. We were 1-1 in the second. And then in the third period, the Shannon push across two goals, one for Avonworth, and that gives us our current score of 3 2 with the 30 seconds to go. Thank you. 
do. And uh, what a great game. If uh, you just joined us, it was absolutely stunning as uh, the Lancers hung in there to uh, win 3-2. Scoring. Lancers 3-2, 1-1. I gave you this rundown, and then it was 2-1. Shots on goal, 24 for Avonworth, 36. Penalties, 24 minutes Avonworth, 8 infractions. 27 and 8 infractions for Deshanik. Deshanik 0 for 4 on the power play and Avonworth 1 for 5. Well, thanks for watching NCTV 45 in Newcastle. Available anytime on your time. Hope you enjoyed the broadcast. Be safe, stay warm. And we'll see you again anytime on YouTube.